Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins, and while we've now got prototypes of engines that could draw their energy straight from the stars and run forever, for more on that, click here, space travel continues to be impractical because, frankly, space is huge and it takes ages to get anywhere from point A to even the closest possible point B, and also sticking a bunch of people in a giant can for months or years at a time really isn't practical. To solve that problem, NASA is taking a cue from every science fiction property ever and partnering with SpaceWorks Enterprises to develop stasis technology that can sustain space travel travelers for extended trips with a specific eye to sending a human expedition to Mars. A trip that with current technology would take about eight months, but could be reduced to maybe six with ideal conditions. The form of stasis they're looking at is called torpor, basically induced controlled hypothermia, and it already exists in nature among small animals and kind of in the medical field as it's commonly used to keep critical patients in hospitals in a short-term deep sleep. Aerospace engineer for SpaceWorks Enterprises Mark Schaefer said at the International Astronomical Congress in Toronto, Protocols exist in most major medical centers for inducing therapeutic hypothermia on patients to essentially keep them alive until they can get the kind of treatment that they need. However, that technology really hasn't been used for long periods. Schaefer says, We haven't had the need to keep someone in therapeutic torpor for longer than seven days. For human Mars missions, we need to push that to 90 days, 180 days. Those are the types of mission flight times we're talking about. However, they're also considering arrangements that would rotate crew members through stasis in shifts, allowing them some time to monitor the ship and conduct maintenance for a few days between hibernation periods. The technology works by nasally injecting a cooling agent that slowly lowers the body temperature from the standard 98.6-ish degrees Fahrenheit to between 89 and 93 degrees and induce a state of deep sleep. Nourishment would be maintained via IV tube, and SpaceWorks is considering a spinning low-gravity room to offset bone and muscle loss. Simply stopping the coolant and reheating Heating the body to normal temperatures is enough to come out of stasis, and the internal cooling is less likely to cause shivering or tissue damage than external solutions like cooling pads. Providing stasis for ship staff would also enable smaller ships. Without the need for consumables, galleys, exercise gear, and so on, it would reduce the pressurized volume needs fivefold and total mass required by threefold. So far, it's looking good. Schaefer says we have not seen any showstoppers on the medical side or on the engineering side. What do you think about this approach to stasis? Is it a good solution or would you rather NASA got busy figuring out hyperjump technology? Let us know in the comments. You get the best news in video games, entertainment, and space right here. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel and we'll keep you in the know.